third phase moon blake cousins we've had a little glitch but we're broadcasting live and we wanted to share with you new breaking news right here at third phase moon welcome back everybody from around the world let's uh, get to this new discovery coming in basically scientists have discovered a mysterious repeating radio signal from deep space that's breaking news coming in january 9th 2007, uh, 2019 excuse me you know, basically, don't look now, but Earth is being bombarded with mysterious invisible light among a typical array of radio signals and microwaves cast out by distant stars, black holes, and other celestial bodies. Basically, this new information says that these ultraburst that only last a few milliseconds are thought to originate from billions of light years away, though their precious source, their precise source is unknown. Pull up that sound yeah, like, aliens have not been ruled out. We're going to pull up the sound, and uh, basically, we're breaking this down right now. Third Phase Moon, thanks for uh, joining us right now, everybody from around the world. Now, back to these unknown FBRs. Where, where are they coming from? They say aliens have not been ruled out. Well, this is uh, something that is a mystery, and it's partially owed to a lack of data. Science astronomers first discovered FBRs in 2007, and only about 60 have been observed. Now these numbers are growing really fast. According to new papers published today, January 9th, just today, scientists are working on CHIME, a Canadian hydrogen, excuse me, a Canadian hydrogen intensity mapping experiment. Radio telescopes in the hills of British Columbia have detected 13 new FRBs in the, just the past two months. Among these newly captured signals are seven bursts that registered about 400 megahertz, the lowest FRB frequency detected so far and for only a second time ever, an FRB that flashed repeated, repeatedly six times in a row. It says here, Stephen Hawking's most far out ideas about black holes. Well, this could be something new. Something big might be happening. Could this be the big signal? Remember the wow signal from SETI? Well, this is reminding me of that. They say until now, there was only one repeating FRB. Ingrid Stairs, a member of the CHIME team and an astrophysicist of the University of British Columbia, said in the statement, with more repeaters and more sources available for study, we may be able to understand these cosmic puzzles that were from, from where they were from and what caused them. Scientists have a few theories about the origins. Previous studies have suggested that these uh, FRBs may be remnants of a distant supernova or radiation spewed out by supermassive black holes. Avi Loeb, a scientist at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center at the Astrophysics, who was involved in the discovery, said that we shouldn't rule out artificial origins, like the pulse of an alien spacecraft. Did you just hear that? We shouldn't rule out artificial origins like pulses of an alien spacecraft. Now, this is breaking news, and it's coming out today. And this new discovery signals could help scientists get a closer look to the answers. For starters, the, ex the existence of repeating FRBs, like the one captured last year, could rule out some other uh, possible origins. These repeating signals flash from the same spot in the sky for an estimated 1.5 billion light years away, six times over the course of several months. According to studying authors, this delayed repetition rules out any kind of cataclysmic event like a supernova or any other likely source of repeated blasts as bursts from exploding star would expect to happen just once. That's right, it's not a supernova. Supernovas go out in a blast. So what's up with these repeating FRBs? Well, the time team now discovers, suggests that uh, the FRBs are probably far more common than uh, currently technology is able to reflect. The fact that seven of these new bursts registered at 400 MHZs, the lowest frequency of time telescope is able to detect, to, uh, detect suggests that these FRBs with even lower frequencies are likely zipping past our planet all the time. They're just not able to see them yet. Well, with this mysterious repeating signal that's been detected from space for the second time, Michael Starr uh, just earlier today says, 
for only the second time astronomers have been able to pick up this mysterious repeating signal coming from an unknown source in space. What is the time telescope, the Canadian hydrogen intensity mapping uh, experiment actually detecting out there? Are these distant aliens from far, far away, maybe 1.5 billion light years away, trying to communicate out there long ago with other life forms within the universe? These uh, mysterious signals definitely have the scientists wondering or uh, kind of contemplating where these are from. Because it's burst again and again with periods of what seemed like uh, Astronomers have been able to catch it in the act and trace it to its source, a galaxy about 3 billion light years away. And because the signal has been polarized or twisted, we know that it's passed through an intense magnetic field. But what's more or less the limit of our uh, knowledge of the FRBs 121102, we still don't know what causes it or any of the non repeating fast radio bursts. They also don't know what the FRB uh, 18081414J0422 plus 73, but two things are worth uh, noting here. First, time is a remarkable piece of equipment. They'll hopefully do more for the Northern Hemisphere FRB research that Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder in Australia did for the Southern Hemisphere. I'm going to go uh, to my audio and let's uh, turn this up. I'm, I'm trying to put it up as much as I can. The first is uh, basically several 13 radio bursts detected by the time, appeared as, at a much lower frequency, about 400 megahertz. So basically, the whole point of this is, are these alien in origin? I want to get your people's thoughts. Did the chime just collect data from a universe about 3 billion light years away? Well, basically, this tells us something about the environment and the sources. We haven't solved the problem yet, but I'm sure there's more pieces to the puzzle, as is stated in this article from Science Alert. And then the Canadian uh, telescope finds mysterious radio flashes. So this is basically breaking the Internet right now. It's coming in from Seattle, Washington, and uh, reported by Daniel Clary. He says these, uh, these radio telescopes are not even fully operational and has already detected more than a dozen of these mysterious brief blasts from deep space unknown as fast radio bursts, known as a fast radio burst. Only, as they're stating, this is the only second time known that a flash repeatedly sent signals. These early results in uh, the Canadian Hydron Intensity Mapping Experiment suggest the scope is well on its way to adding hundreds or even thousands of FRBs to the 60 or so already known, hopefully revealing the source of these powerful millisecond pulses in the process. Now, this really uh, points to the fact that time is set up to revolutionize the fields of FRBs, says Sarah Burke uh, Spolar the West Virginia University of Morgantown, which is, not, which is not involved in the research, but these FBRs are one of the hottest topics in astronomy right now. Researchers not only want to figure out what they are, or also what to use them to gather information about the matter that resides in the vast reaches of uh, our galaxies, well, as the journey through deep space for FRB pulses get spread out by all the electrons they meet, revealing information about the density of the intergalactic medium, that'd be valuable input for models of large-scale structures of the cosmos. FRBs could be a good way to understand the evolution of our universe, says uh, Vishal Gajar of the University of California, Berkeley, and also not a member of the Time team. The Australians were the first to detect FRBs in 2007, and uh, for years, skeptical astronomers dismissed them as local efforts of instrumental glitches. But because FRBs are rare, only wide-field telescopes have a chance of catching one. But these survey scopes tend not to be sensitive enough to learn about them.
And because the FRBs occur in a blink of an eye, it's too late to bring another more sensitive telescope to bear on it. But FRBs seriously became a, a serious topic early this decade. Teams figured out that the pulses came from distant galaxies. Not a glitch, not some kind of uh, anomaly in the equipment, but they came from distant galaxies. That discovery was based on the structure of the pulses themselves. Among the range of frequencies that make them up, longer wavelength photons lag behind the sh shorter ones thanks to the drag of intergalactic matter. The amount of lag in the arriving of the pulse great for the FRBs to be from the source of the Milky Way, from within the source of the Milky Way. Previously, some scientists... Previously, I'm dealing with a cold, so excuse me for that, but previously some scientists threw uh, explosive events in our galaxy, such as a supernova or a neutron star, merges might be uh, responsible for some of these bursts. But in 2012, the FRBs found by the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico was later to show that it was a repeat. And this ruled out one of the sources like mergers or supernova that would be uh, consumed in the process for the FRB at least. Further observations with the Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia told researchers that the burst known as the FRB 121102 came from a highly magnetic uh, magnetic environment. And then again in 2017, researchers used a very large array in uh, Socorro, New Mexico, the European VLBI network, a continent-wide array to pin down its location to a small star forming a, in a galaxy three billion light years away. So I want to get your thoughts. Is uh, the time picking up an alien signal trying to communicate, what do these bursts mean? Can they decode them? Is there a message behind the launch of the Canadian Hydrant Intensity Mapping Experiment being sent to them? Could this be the new breakthrough? Well, it definitely could be. I want to get your thoughts, people, and uh, appreciate you joining us right here at Third Phase Moon. We'll be supplying more updates in regards to Chime and uh, what the new discovery was. Blake Cousins, keep your eyes on the skies, everybody. We're not alone.